Hey all, here is my layout, a simple one, um, for the Conte Crayons filter. Now you may look at it and say, well where is that filter? And I can show you the before and after. I simply made a frame with it. Um, I'll show you in a bit some other things I played with on that. But before we move forward to look at the filter, let's talk about how the fact I have no idea if it's Conte, 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 Conte. Uh, I don't know. It's apparently a French word. These uh, crayons were created in the 1790s and apparently there was a shortage of English graphite and so they made these Conte crayons and they have more clay in them so that's what uh, this filter is supposed to look like it's very much like the rough pastels filter but um, the big difference between that one and this one is that this filter uh, replaces uh, the original image with the foreground and the background color and so um, you have none of your original color of your photo left so this is very important to utilize your foreground and background colors um, now you can see here I have two great looking colors which I think would make a great color palette which I may use down the road a great color palette for a kit, uh, but um, I love colors from nature. But, but uh, for mine, when I originally did it, this one that I'm making going on and off, I had I think my both the foreground and the background color um, to set to uh, two different variations of white, and I decided that my first play was the one that I liked the best. Um, so uh, I actually have this on screen mode. It uh, is not quite as bright on uh, normal mode and I kind of liked it too but I guess I must have liked screen to brighten it up a little bit. I did play here with these two colors here. Um, it came out like this and I really liked it too because you can see before and after I'm gonna zoom in for you on the side here before and after it makes some of the water bluer and uh, that was really great too but I wasn't too keen on the way it made my land look up here my green grass uh, it worked well for the water but not the grass and I went back and forth and I played with the blending modes on this one also like multiply I thought multiply <laughs> made it look really cool too. look at the before and the after just something so subtle to kind of bring in the edges around it um, and screen on this one made it kind of really bright not too realistic but uh, basically what I did to get those uh, was I put these two layers together and copied them and merged them down and then I went up here to my rectangular marquee tool and I tried to, to take more time to get it centered I do have a feather on it so the corners were rounded and I hit delete and then I applied the filter to that now you can do anything you want with this um, I'm going to go ahead and see what this filter does. Uh, let's do um, the big folder photo. I'm going to duplicate it. Hopefully this won't take too long to process. And Let's see what it does because I haven't played with that. This is under the sketch gallery and it does bring up the uh, filter gallery and 
you can see how it's using the foreground and background colors right now it's pretty darn ugly <laughs> to the original photo but I don't know that might make a cool border or background um, here are the uh, I think there's five sliders here five choices you have the foreground level, so the amount of the foreground color. Let's see, my foreground color was the green. So when we move this, it'll bring in more of the green. More of the green texture. You can see it's turning more green and less of the blue. And I can move this down and, and allow more of the blue. Uh, this is the background level, so we can bring in more of the blue or less of the blue. Now let's just cancel this and switch our foreground and co background color to observe what happens. This is how we learn. Um, so here we have the opposite. Now the blue is up here and the uh, it's also down here. Let me look at my original photo. I don't know it looks like I guess the blue is the 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 blue is the brighter color so it looks like it's taking the background color and using that more for the highlights and the foreground color more for the dark lights. Uh, of course it matched better this way because it matched the blue for the water uh, with the background. This made the water see the water blue. So um, our other choices, what is cool with this one, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and you can kind of see this has texture on it. And right now it has the burlap lap texture and there it is with the brick texture, sandstone. So you can put whatever texture you want on this and in fact you can even load any texture. And we've learned previously in um, other classes how to create textures and that is basically you take your photo you could even take the photo you're using here and um, open it up um, turn it to uh, high contrast black and white and save it as a dot psd file it only needs one layer but it has to be saved as a dot psd file and then um, you can click on this flyout arrow here and go load that texture in here and play with it. Um, this is scaling so let's scale it back and you can see what it's doing is it's scaling the texture. So these two bottom controls control how much texture you get on it. It's very similar to if you were just using the texture filter and the relief so you can change your light on the texture um, I usually use top right but you could play around and see if any of them make any difference and then you can invert it which you're just inverting the texture. So uh, let's see, what did we like? I like lots of texture, lots, oh, I don't like lots of relief because I want my colors to show through because I don't know. Ooh, that kind of makes it seem like you can tell it's water and I'm going to say okay and that's what we end up with. And so basically uh, that's how you use the filter. Um, you need to come up with a creative way to use the filter. Where is my... Uh, here's the one I made just a little bit ago and I didn't run the filter on it. Let's run it with the current settings. And you're gonna see that's what we get. Not bad. 
And if I play with blending modes, woo, that doesn't look too bad. So you can scroll up and down on my, ah, hard mix. <laughs> I don't even know why they have that filter. Uh, so you can scroll through them and play with the various filters. So just like any of the other filters, get out there and use your imagination and that's where I did white on white, white foreground and white background. Which, let's do that. Ha! I'm gonna change this. Before we finish, I was getting ready to finish. There's one kind of white, and here's an, another kind of white. And let's duplicate this and see what we can do. See, that looks kind of cool. I, I kind of like that. And, oh, cool, cool, cool. Bringing back in more of the gray. I like all the white and the black. The subtle kind of, yeah, see, this is more useful than those colors. Ooh, 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 ooh. So what I could do with this is after I get done with this, I could try, see I love playing, ha! <laughs> love playing, oh screen doesn't work, multiply. Ooh, look at the texture like it's been printed on uh, canvas. Is that not cool? Of course you can get rid of this to see. This is before and after, like it's on canvas, ha! <laughs> see, I, it works so much better if you just use white or black or grays and then you use it and blend with your photo that looks really cool and that make a great background to a layout okay I'm done uh, maybe maybe not hue Ack. overlay nah. soft well that kind of is neat I liked the other one better okay I am going to put it back to the original again and I'm going to close and say again, get out there, think out of the box, just like that, play, come up with something unique, um, you know, maybe in, don't make, just make it go around the edge like I did, maybe cut a strip in the middle and put your title on it, I don't know, get out there and be original and show me what you can do.